what's going on everybody so i'm gonna use this as the intro to every video in this series do me a favor uh, hit that subscribe button share these videos for me um, i would greatly appreciate it all right y'all if you're watching these videos in order and you've already seen this introduction you don't need to see it again skip to this time right here and start the video first off watch these videos from the very beginning watch them in order so you don't get lost on them um, second off, I want to give credit where credit is due. Um, I use a King James Bible, which is the only Bible. Uh, these other versions will misquote scripture, um, change it, change words that don't need to be changed, and there's verses that are left out. We'll get into why you don't do that later on when we start going through the Bible. So get a King James Bible. I use a Rock of Ages study Bible. Um, I get a lot of my stuff through the, the study part of this study Bible. It helps out tremendously. Um, Brother Joe Darby, my pastor, um, I'm sure I will be asking him all kinds of questions doing this. Um, I listen to Brother Chris Simpson and Brother Ricky Gravely on podcast. Um, a lot of their preaching helps me out with me doing the Bible study. I use Blue Letter Bible on my phone. It's an app you can get, it's free. It helps tremendously if there's something you don't know the meaning of, you can click on it on there uh, and it'll show you the, the meaning of it. Um, I hope you enjoy this video series. I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. One, it helps me study my Bible. Uh, two, if somebody is lost, if these videos can help bring them closer to Jesus so that they might get saved, man, that would be fantastic. If that happened to one person, this would be worth it. You know, this also may help somebody out there that's struggling with studying and understanding a few things. You know, maybe this will help them with that and, and help them study a little bit more and understand things a little bit better that pertain to the Bible. Now, let's get into the video. All right, what's going on, everybody? So, do me a favor real quick before you even start doing this. Uh, go on ahead and say a prayer and ask God to give you wisdom and knowledge to understand what we're about to be going over reading through His Word. All right, so you may notice me looking down and, and reading off of my notes or out of the Bible. I'm going to read, read off of those and... Uh, some out of, some of the verses out of the Bible, just because I don't want to get anything wrong. I don't want to misquote anything. So you see me reading. I know a lot of people don't like you looking down when you're making videos, but that's why you see me looking down. I got my notes right here in front of me. The next thing, so in the four Gospels, Matthew, uh, Mark, Luke, and John, uh, that's the start of the New Testament is Matthew. What you have to keep in mind when you're reading the Gospels is Jesus hasn't died for our sins yet. So there's still things in here that they do that we don't in the times we live in where Jesus has died for our sins. An example would be uh, sacrifices. We don't do that anymore. Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice on the cross uh, himself for our sins. So we don't do sacrifices anymore. But there's still things in the Gospels, you know, that since Jesus died for our sins, um, he's the new new covenant so you'll see that a little bit more when we get on into acts i don't want to jump ahead of myself on that and if i see something in here i'll kind of let you know uh second thing when we're reading these when you're reading the bible you really have to pay attention to to the time period um whether it's before or after jesus died and who they're speaking to or are they speaking to the gentiles which is what we are or israel um there's a difference there. Anyways, you have to excuse the wind noise. I do like shooting my videos outside. I just like being outdoors. Wind's blowing just a little bit right now. I hope it's not too bad. So uh, we're going ahead and get into this real quick. Again, I'm not, you can go through this stuff a whole lot more in depth than what I'm going to. I'm just going to try to do a brief overview of kind of what's going on in the chapters. Um, going ahead and if you hadn't already, pause this video, read read chapter 1 in Matthew. Go on ahead and read it because, uh, again, I'm not going to read it word for word. Uh, we're just going to kind of hit the highlights of it. And I still will read some of the verses out of here. Um, and when we go back to the Old Testament where something's referring to the Old Testament, we'll go back through and read that scripture. So now that you've uh, read chapter 1, we'll get into it a little bit. And this, this one isn't going to be too long. It's, it's pretty short. Verses 1 through 16 are the genealogy of Christ through Joseph, which is his adopted father. Um, this ancestry is through Solomon to David and Abraham. Christ's true genealogy through his mother, who is Mary, 
Um, we'll see that in Luke when we get into Luke. It'll trace back his genealogy through um, Mary. Uh, in verses 18 through 21, um, in this section, Joseph and Mary are engaged. Uh, Jewish custom in that time was that they were still called husband and wife even though they were just engaged. Uh, so, you know, before it, the Holy Ghost here in a minute, we'll go over that, but you'll see where it's speaking about um, them being husband and wife, but, and then you'll see where the Holy Ghost says you can go on ahead and she go on ahead and take Mary to wife. Um, that's it could be a little confusing, I guess, if you didn't know that, but that's why that was just Jewish custom was even though they were engaged, they'd still call each other husband and wife. So it goes on. Mary is found to be with child before her and Joseph knew each other. Uh, Joseph was going to put her away uh, so she wasn't shamed in public. An angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph and told him, Fear not to take unto Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. The angels tell him the baby shall be called Jesus, for he shall save the people from their sins. So in verses 22 through 25, um, it tells of old time prophecy being fulfilled. Uh, that old time prophecy is, is found in Isaiah 7 and 14, and I'll read that for you real quick. So, uh, where it was talking about the old time prophecy, flip with me to Isaiah 7 and 14. It says, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. So that's saying Jesus being born and, and being conceived of a virgin. Uh, that's Old Testament. Obviously being fulfilled. Anyways, I know this was a short one and some of these are going to be much, much longer than this. Um, as I'm getting into them, some of these are probably going to be broke up into two videos. I hate to do that. If I do that, I, I may put them both out in the same day so you can uh, watch them in the same day. But uh, some of these chapters will probably be broke down into multiple videos. They're going to be pretty long. Uh, this one was just pretty short because pretty much the first half of it's just going through Christ's genealogy through his adopted father Joseph uh, I appreciate y'all watching these videos uh, hope y'all come back for the next ones hope you enjoyed it and again if you hadn't already subscribed subscribe to the channel I'd appreciate it and be sure to share these videos so we try to get the gospel out there to somebody else hope y'all have a good day